This class will be talking about resource conservation, or how do we do more with less and preserve what we have for future generations. This is a class that covers a wide spectrum of thoughts, ideas, materials, and resources, from water to lumber. Conserving materials really starts with a mindset that anything that's waste, that's left over, that gets thrown away, wherever away is, is really something that's eating away at your bottom line. That's where away is, away from your bottom line. Think of a two by four that ends up in the dumpster. What did it take to get that two by four to your job site? And then to have someone miscut it and throw away two four foot pieces is a lot of invested time, energy, and labor to get that two by four to you in the first place only to have it go away. So what we're gonna look at is job site recycling, waste management. How do we take control of the stream of materials that flow through our world? Recycled content, as we talked last week, looking at closing the loop, being able to put recycled stuff back into a home where it belongs and give it a permanent place to rest. Water is a key component to the 21st century. We're going to talk about how do we manage that wisely. Landscaping. What kind of landscaping? How many of you are in the landscaping business? Think of anybody who mark up your subs? Yes? Well, you're missing a whole component to your business if you're not bringing a landscaper in as part of your team, completing the whole thought. Because site and buildings, handshake, go hand in hand. And so we really want to have a whole thought around controlling the thermodynamics of our buildings. We get to resource conservation through a variety of mechanisms, media, techniques, materials. We're going to look at advanced framing, how to do more with less, which is a really key component of resource conservation. What are some of the alternatives to wood, engineered wood products, and finally, more durable products so that we're saving those weekends for golf and family adventures rather than mowing the lawn and refinishing the deck. So looking at natural resources, we've got plenty of lumber to last us for the next 500 years, right? Old growth trees are growing back every day. Those redwoods are going from six inches to six feet in diameter in what? Three or four months, fast growing redwoods. So is it important to use what we have wisely today? Do our children need some of the resources that we're consuming? Absolutely. And so as stewards, as the folks that love wood the most, how many of you were carpenters when you started in the business? Did you love wood? Do you still love wood? Well, we're the stewards of how that wood is used. We have a huge impact on efficient wood use. In nature, there's a concept that there is no away because waste equals food. The waste of one process turns into the food for another. So a tree falls in the forest and it turns into food for fungi and bacteria and turns back into nutrients in the soil from which spring other plants. Somehow in the last 50 years, we've lost that concept that everything can be recycled, and in fact, in nature, everything is recycled. We need to come back to that mindset. What is waste? How does it become food for a recycled content product in its ne next lifetime? <clears throat>